Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we work, we work hard. We are not sure that we are sure about where it's all going. That's also the beauty of it. Here we have our sandbox with our cuttings. We remove the nets, shade nets, because the plants were getting too big. This is now the Pavlovnia and the fig competing with each other to see who can be the tallest. We are happy. A lot of plants are growing, a lot did not grow. Just the dead sticks and uh, when we took the shade net off the willows complained a lot dropped all their leaves but uh, we know them they come back again this is the cape gooseberry and our proud planting the asparagus seeds that we planted looking good it's only green things the dog can find to eat so that he love to eat these leaves go for it chicos this is what our wheelbarrow tires look like after we work them to death obviously the loads were too heavy for this but we transported a lot of sand and stone over a rough terrain they didn't like it so we have new wheels on our fleet of vehicles and uh, it's solid, I think it's plastic or something. And uh, they must just hang in there, do the job. I just thought, what do my joints look like if the tires look like this? But thank God my joints can recover, regrow themselves. Some parts of Andalusia had some rain, we didn't. It will just make a huge difference, should there be some rain. But uh, we will be patient, it will come. Also, it gives us some time to finish our water projects projects that were in the making for more than two years and uh, we are slowly slowly terminating them and that is very positive dopamine is rising here in the occasional creek we uh, have done most of the hard work we still have to oil and replace our planks and our sluice gate and then also install some metal grid to keep the dogs in and the pigs and the deer out um, that's taking shape in my head it will come this is our southern border Palovnia people passing by ask us if this is tobacco 
and we say you can try we don't promise any good results this is the site the construction site with the mixer and the generator tied to the tree with a chain and uh, one of the vehicles with a new tire we have been shopping this morning to get more sand and uh, this afternoon we will start filling these cinder blocks and uh, it takes quite a lot of sand and cement to fill these blocks much more than I thought so that is the next job coming up our wall is not straight that's on purpose and we don't want to have corners sharp corners and then we have spent a lot of time to fill this hole under the culvert with rocks So the idea is the water will come through there, it's a 14 millimeter culvert. Um, if we have 40 millimeters of rain in a half an hour, that culvert is full. Anything less over a longer period, it's half. So it never spouts right to the fence there it drops either very quickly or halfway so I am confident that stones will do the work and then I started building a uh, wall there and that will narrow the flow of the water to stop the erosion on the sides and when it comes through it will hit these boulders there's another one coming that will be there and uh, then we will have some rocks here as well um, I'm pretty sure it is overkill but why not be sure that uh, saved and sure uh, the saved and sorry do it well so the water through the culvert coming from this road left and right collecting here coming through here with a tremendous speed and lots of turbulence when it leaves there we will pacify it through there then the narrow space and then we'll pacify it again and should something want to hit this earthen wall we will have a mesh and rocks here as well we started to dismantle the second gabion we needed rocks and also um, we don't need it anymore in this space I still have that gabion and then almost two meters at the bottom earth that comes up to a meter twenty on top and this wooden structure is just to keep the soil from running down this will be completely dismantled and then I will bring the giraffe excavator in here and I'll move this whole berm this whole area into that erosion gully and uh, hopefully I can do it well that I can even drive through here with the excavator because it fits into this path here 
That will be so good. I uh, have been... I felt cut off from that part. Always having to negotiate getting through this erosion gully. And we want the water not to leave on this side. It will leave this pond. This pond was created to elevate the level of the water so that we can use this upper canal. That is 90% of the reason we do it and then also to stop the erosion. Two exits there, one spillway and one exit to get the water back into that erosion gully. And then two exits here, one into that canal and one here coming this way into this canal that will take the water towards the west. Once the water come from that pond, distribution pond, it can either come down there or it can come down here, we'll still see. And then it will carry on this way. Uh, a lot of water came down before. Uh, all the water came down here before and it did survive it up to this point here where it dropped in elevation, increased the speed, caused a lot of erosion from here on. So we have some experience now with the excavator where this white line is. I will cover this. I will have a canal up there. And an arch to overcome the elevation of this tiny creek here and carries on this way to irrigate that area closer to the creek. Plants are still trying to recover from the heat. It's okay. Till next time. Goodbye.